I am Dr. Ankur Gupta. I am practicing as an interventional cardiologist in Meditrina Heart Center, Civil Hospital, Panchkula. In simple words, heart failure occurs when your heart muscle doesn't pump blood as well as it should. Heart failure may be due to an abnormality in the heart, which results in impaired pumping of the blood from the heart or an impaired filling of blood into the heart. Heart failure may be characterized by symptoms such as shortness of breath, easy fatigability, chest pain, palpitations or swelling in the legs. The shortness of breath is usually worse with exercise or while lying down and may also wake up the person at night. A limited ability to exercise is also a common feature of heart failure. The incidence of heart failure in adult population in India is around 1-2%. to Now people who are at risk of developing heart failure are ones with long-standing and uncontrolled hypertension or diabetes, people who have suffered a heart attack in the past or with birth defects. These people are at high risk of developing heart failure. Early recognition of symptoms of heart failure which I already mentioned like easy fatigability, shortness of breath and swelling in the legs help us to identify heart failure at an early stage. Now people who are at risk of developing heart failure and patients who have such symptoms should consult their doctor as early as possible and their doctor might ask them to undergo a blood test which is called as anti-pro BNP or an ultrasound of the heart which is called as an echocardiography. Now such patients should know that heart failure is a serious condition but it is easily manageable with lifestyle changes, optimal medical treatment and advanced therapies that are available nowadays. Various measures are often used to assess the progress of people being treated for heart failure. These methods include fluid balance that is fluid intake as well as fluid excreted from the body or monitoring body weight on a regular basis. Exercise should be encouraged in such patients and should be tailored according to the need of the patient. The inclusion of regular physical activity and physical conditioning should be part of cardiac rehabilitation program which can significantly improve the quality of life in such patients and reduce the risk of hospitalization for worsening symptoms. Significant progress has been made in terms of newer drugs of heart failure treatment and supporting devices to help patients live a stable life and carry out their daily activities. If you or your loved ones have been diagnosed with heart failure recently, you should consult your doctor regarding such treatment options. Now what should people know is that a person's risk of developing heart failure is inversely related to their physical activity. So that means that the more active you are, there are le less chances of developing heart failure in future. For healthy adults, which are aged between 18 to 65, the guidelines recommend moderate exercise of 30 minutes, 5 days a week, or vigorous aerobic exercise for 20 minutes, 3 times a week. Reduction in heart failure risk was even greater in those who engaged in higher levels of physical activity than the recommended minimum levels. Heart failure can also be prevented by lowering blood pressure, controlling diabetes and high blood cholesterols, maintaining a healthy weight as well as decreased sodium, alcohol or sugar intake will also help. Additionally, one should also quit smoking or tobacco if a person is a smoker. One should know that physical activity remains important in maintaining your physical as well as mental conditioning and making your heart stronger. If you are diagnosed with diabetes or hypertension or have had a heart attack in the past, you should watch for signs and symptoms of heart failure like shortness of breath or easy fatigability and swelling in the feet. If you are diagnosed with heart failure, 
you should ensure that you make necessary dietary and lifestyle modifications as recommended by your physician and understand your medication and ask your doctor about the newer treatments and modalities available to manage heart failure.